Hello, Math A students. This is Professor Debbie Hill, and I wanted to make a little movie to show you around my math lab. If you have used my math lab before, please use your same username and password. And if you have forgotten them, click here on the forgot username or password. It really helps my math lab to keep track of you and keep all of your information together. If you've never used my math lab before, please register here, click on student, and you'll be asked for some information. And know that when you get to the payment page, if paying right now is an issue, go down to the bottom of the screen and you'll see an option for 14 days of free temporary access that you can use to get started. So please don't delay getting started for any reason. So when you go to sign in, you're going to be asked for your username and password. And I've already done that today, so it went right to my account page. And yours should be simpler. I have a lot of accounts because I'm teaching and have taught a lot of my Math Lab courses. But the one you'll be looking for is the Spring 16, so S16 is for Spring 16 Math A, CRN41595, so that's the course record number for the Sierra College course. And then the course ID for the My Math Lab course is the Hill 14669. So once you get to this course, there'll be an underline that tells you there's a link. So you click on the link and it will open the course. The first place you come is called the home page and in the upper left corner you can see where my cursor is. Here is the label of what you're looking at, the home page. So there's lots of good information on this home page. Right across the top here, see that it says January. This is a calendar. So here's the 17th, 18th. This is this week on this calendar. And there's little icons in the calendar, so you can see that on January 21st, there's already an assignment there that says the week one discussion post needs to be done by next Thursday. So if I use the right arrow, the calendar slides forward. So the 25th is the first day of the semester. And if you hover over the blue dot icon, you'll see that there's an orientation homework assignment due that just walks you through how to get started using my math lab. So the blue dot icons are homework and the gold square icons are quizzes. So there's different kinds of quizzes and I'll go through that as I go through all the different buttons. Each instructor makes their own buttons on this menu on the left and each instructor arranges the buttons differently and each instructor has different ways they design the course. So please pay attention. It may be different than the way you've used my math lab before if you have. So here are your upcoming assignments. There's an orientation assignment and then jump right into section 1.1 which hopefully will be review for you. One of the first things you need to do is run this browser check to just make sure all the plugins that you need for running the program correctly are up to date. You'll they'll be looking for Adobe Flash Player and some other things. So it will tell you what to do and walk you through the process if you have things that aren't up to date. Um, this is the front cover of the textbook that we're using if you were to buy the hardcover text. Um, over here, my results. So you'll see your overall score at any point right here on the home page. And then it will also show you how you're doing as the weeks go by. Are you staying above 70%, which is how much you need to pass. So there's a welcome message here from me. Welcome to my math lab. You can click on more to read that. But let's go over here and talk about the buttons. So on your home page, you're not going to see this course tools button. This symbol means it's hidden from you and it's only on my menu. So that has all the tools for the instructor to use. So your home page, the first button you can click on is this course documents button. So on the course documents button, if you click this one, it will take you to a page where all the documents that I sent you in the informational email are here also in case you lose track of the ones that I sent you originally. So the welcome letter is here, the My Math Lab instructions sheet. Of course, if you're here, you don't need that because it tells you how to get here. The instructions for the course, and this is a long document, but I spent a lot of time making it to try and help walk you step by step through the course. The syllabus is here, has all kinds of useful information about the policies and procedures for the course. So I'd really encourage you to study it 
and learn what's in it and make sure you could pass a quiz on it. Oh, because there is a syllabus quiz. And then there's the course calendar. So let me click on the course calendar here because I want to talk about this a little bit. At the top of the course calendar, it says this calendar indicates which homework section you should be working on which day to keep up with the schedule. It doesn't match up to the due dates in my math lab because I don't want you to work on an assignment the day it's due. I want you to start working on it the day before it's due. So for instance, sections 1.1 and 1.2 are on Monday the 25th because that's when I want you to start working on them so that you aren't frantically trying to get them done by the deadline of the 26th. If you wait until the 26th to work on them and you don't have enough time, then you will miss the due date. Homework can be worked on after the due date, but it will have a 25% deduction after that time. Quizzes cannot be worked on after the due date. Those are deadlines for the quizzes. So you see on the calendar, it suggests which day you start working on an assignment. And let me point out farther down here in the semester, there's some sections where I think they're going to take you more than one day. So for instance, on March 9th and March 10th, I have section 4.4 on both of those days. If all you're looking at is the due dates, you're going to wait until Monday the 14th to start working on section 4.4 when I think it's going to take you at least two days to work on that section. So please have this calendar somewhere very visible that you check it and say, what should I be working on today? And don't use the due dates as your guideline for what to work on that day. So that's the course calendar. I'm going to close that and go back to my math lab. And here I'm at my math lab and the home page menu buttons. So that was the course documents button. The next button is learning aids. And the ebook, the electronic copy of the book, is one of the things that's located under this button. So let's look, for instance, at chapter two, section four. And if I say select all and find now, you'll see all of the media that are available for you to use to help with your learning. So there are animations. Animations are similar to Khan Academy, where it's a whiteboard with somebody writing and talking, but you don't see a person. The nice thing about them is you can watch them over and over. You can stop them and go back. So if you need help with percent problems, or understanding percents, you can watch these animations, and they're quite short. Then if you want to read the textbook on screen, you click on the textbook, and the textbook will open to that section so that you don't have to electronically page through the book to get to the section that you're interested in. So there's a complete copy of the book inside the software. The thing is, it's a little hard to use digitally. It's hard to page around, although it has a page forward and page back, and you can put page numbers if you want to flip 10 pages forward. I just find it a little clunky to use, but it's convenient if you don't happen to have your um, actual book with you. So then we have section video lectures. My suggestion is that you begin each section by watching the section video lecture. There is an actual person giving a lecture here as if there were a classroom full of students watching and listening. So you can use this to take notes. Other students find it more helpful to use the PowerPoint slides that are provided in order to take notes. This is going to be a much more brief and just hit the highlights. So those are all the things that are available under the Multimedia Learning Aids button. So make sure you um, use that button a lot. It will really help. So once you've watched the section video lecture and you're ready to start working on homework, then you click the Do Homework button. Now you'll see that there are green flags. Anything you're not sure about, hover over it. And see when I hover on the green flag, it says I have to score at least 70% on the orientation assignment before I can even open this next assignment. So you will see that all of the assignments pretty much 
have prerequisite flags on them. So you must do the assignments in order and you must complete 70% of each section before you move on to the next section. So the order to begin with is the orientation assignment to see how to enter your answers in my math lab and then math A section 1.1. When you get to this homework page, notice these buttons that say show all homework and quizzes and tests. There's another button over here on the left menu that says take a quiz. If you go over there you can see the quizzes by themselves but see that along the top are the same buttons. These two buttons, do homework and take a quiz, actually go to the same place. They're just filtered or sorted. So if you go to either one of them and click show all, then you're going to see your assignments in sequence in the order in which you need to work on them. So if you go to do homework to the beginning, you'll see I want you to work on section 1.1. And then there's a practice assignment here so that you can practice submitting work to Canvas. This assignment is not going to be graded. It's simply for you to have a practice at submitting work to Canvas before it actually has to be done for credit. So after each homework section is a mini quiz. For section 1.1 homework, there's mini quiz 1.1. You have three attempts you're allowed and 30 minutes to work on the mini quiz. They're very short. They're just a check to see, did you really get what I wanted you to get out of the homework for section 1.1? Or did you just complete the homework but didn't really get it? So this is your opportunity to check yourself. There are practice mini quizzes. So if I scroll down, all the way down, oh, and only 1 through 20 assignments are showing right now. You can adjust this. You can say view all on one page if you like. If you scroll all the way down, you'll see the practice mini quizzes. The practice mini quizzes can be used infinitely many times. So this says you've taken zero times out of infinitely many. The mini quizzes you have three tries and there's a time limit. So you can use the practice mini quiz as many times as you like and then have three tries at the actual mini quiz. You can use these however you like. Quizzes must be completed by the due date. Homework can be worked on after the due date for 75% credit. So do homework and take a quiz, actually go to the same place. If I go to take a quiz and show all, I will see exactly the same assignments as I saw on the do homework show all. So you can go to either place to begin. So I'm gonna stop this movie here because I only get 15 minutes to make free movies. So I'm gonna make a continuation and show you more about my math lab.